Hello everybody. I just thought I'd come and show you. This is one of the jobs that needs to be done. This is the stacking system for all my pots just behind the polytunnel here. So what my plan is, there's a motorbike going on outside. I hope you can still hear me. So what my plan is to clear all this out, bring all these pots and put them over here. Um, and then I've got this plastic shelving is going to go out and over here by there and sticking up there is some metal shelf and that will be replacing this one so this one will be coming out here uh, I've also got plans to put some of the geotextile down to stop the weeds coming up at the moment there is carpet down but it's getting a bit soggy and that compost bin in the corner there is going to come and sit here so it's a little bit easier for me to see but again this needs to be cleared out as well i just thought i'd do a quick video so you can hear the wind well the wood chimes i don't know what you call them i call them a wind chime but it's made of wood i think wind chimes are made of metal normally but there you go there's all the the veg and here's the potatoes um, there's a video going up next week of the potatoes that have gone in the ground over here or it might be this week whenever I upload this one so here are all the potatoes I put in so it's one pot one tuber per pot so the ones with the green on them have been in a couple of weeks already the one sitting on the top here just went in yesterday and then these guys at the front have just gone in this one's just gone in as well and that one and then I've also done some very sandy compost here this um, I think it's 50-50 sand and compost this has got some early ant carrots in it so some so I'm going to try some carrots in pots. I've also got some carrots in seed tape as well. So this is the cold frame in use. We've got some sweet peas, some artichoke, globe artichokes, the fenugreek's in here. We've got some more broad beans. The sweet peas no they're not sweet peas they're normal they're like garden peas over there um i think they're all garden peas different varieties fenugreek at the bottom there let me put that one down look that one up so you've got juice on artichokes you've got some tomatoes some chilies and some more garden peas so I think I'm going to put some of the garden peas into pots. I've grown some more. Let me put this one down. I've grown some more peas here. They're going to be for pea shoots. And this is called chop shoey greens. I've grown some, and I can't read my way, some more cucumbers. Some courgettes over there from last time, the sorrel, we've got the kale in the background, some chives and some spring onions, squashes aren't doing too great here, um, we've got the chickpeas coming up, I need to decide, decide if they're going outside or if they're staying in, I need to find out what type of weather they like. We've got some more kale. In the front and then we've got some iceberg lettuce in the back more lettuce here some more kale again some of the kale will be put into pots these are the mixed onions not a very good germination rate on them unfortunately so I don't know what's happened to them this is some French marigolds at the front here and some more chives what i'll do is i'll get clumps of these and i'll put them around the different places in the garden 
So, we've got the artichokes coming up in the little experiment. And we've got various shrubs in the back. And a spider. I don't know if you can see that guy. And then, there we go. <laughs> and this is a lovely example of a Claytonia. He must have got missed when I was putting them all in in the <coughs> excuse me. Must have missed him when I was putting them all in the ground. Uh, about November, I think it was. So I, just a quick polytunnel update. Still getting the extreme temperatures, but they're not so bad now. Let's turn that a bit. There we go. Not getting the extreme temperatures now, but I have opened the polytunnel during the day now. And I'm bringing out the other things that need to be acclimatised. So, just thought I'd give you an update of all the things that had. The plastic sheeting up here at the moment is just to stop the draft going on the potatoes and stuff that is sitting here. Uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to renew the velcro at the front of the windows. Let me get round. <coughs> So I'm going to renew the velcro here, maybe put a bigger st strip of velcro along here. I've got some taped velcro to try and keep them down when they need to be down. Because at the moment the wind is going on them, as you can see, the wind is going on them and lifting up. So it's not so great. Okay, so I'll just... Move you around slowly and see the rest of the garden as the sun is coming out. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll hug you see you again soon. Bye.